Pressure gradient across the pulmonary valve is estimated from the continuous wave Doppler derived velocity across the pulmonary valve using the simplified Bernoulli equation. Pressure gradient is equal to 4V squared. Sample volume of Doppler has to be aligned parallel to the flow guided by color Doppler imaging in the parasternal short axis view. Subcoastal view may be better in children. Highest value obtained from multiple views should be used. Doppler derived gradient has good correlation with cath derived gradient. It should be remembered that Doppler measures peak instantaneous gradient while cath measures peak to peak gradient. Grading of severity is based on peak jet velocity and the corresponding gradient. Severe pulmonary stenosis is defined as peak jet velocity more than 4 meters per second and peak gradient more than 64 millimeters of mercury. Moderate pulmonary stenosis has a peak jet velocity between 3 to 4 meters per second and peak gradient between 36 to 64 millimeters of mercury. Mild pulmonary stenosis has a peak velocity less than 3 meters per second and peak gradient less than 36 millimeters of mercury. But this gradient does not mention the minimum gradient required for the diagnosis of mild pulmonary stenosis. Here are the first set of references. Second set of references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.